We have some breaking news uh, right now on what has turned into uh, the soap opera and uh, saga of the markets right now, and that is the story of GameStop. Um, the news to bring you right now is that Melvin Capital Management, this is the hedge fund that had shorted uh, this company that had effectively been attacked by an army of investors trying to push up and press up the stock, the, the stock rather, of GameStop along the way. Uh, Melvin Capital is now out of the stock. They got out of the stock, from what I understand, yesterday afternoon. Uh, I just got off the telephone with Gabriel Plotkin, who runs that firm. Uh, they have taken a, a rather huge loss. I do not have the full number on what that loss looked like. Uh, as was reported yesterday, both Citadel uh, and Point72 have infused something on the order of close to $3 billion into uh, Melvin Capital to try to shore up its finances. Uh, and uh, Gabe Plotkin telling me uh, just moments ago uh, that the speculation that the firm would uh, file for bankruptcy is false. There's some uh, reporting taking place on Reddit, where so much of this discussion began and really uh, created uh, the momentum for uh, an, as I said, an army of uh, investors using options to try to press up that price. Um, to some degree, uh, they might be able to argue now that they succeeded. If this was really about uh, vanquishing, if you will, Wall Street or vanquishing uh, a hedge fund manager, uh, in this case, uh, they did take a loss. Uh, they may have not put them out of business, but uh, boy, did they come close. Uh, we've been following this story, which has been such a wild one. Uh, GameStop uh, <laughs> shares right now. I mean, I, I can't, I, I, I don't even know what to say. It's up 131%, $342. On any kind of fundamental basis, if the stock were worth more than 20 or $30, I think it would be, uh, you know, something to behold. Uh, real questions, of course, about stock manipulation, about uh, the power of what's taking place on places like Reddit, really what's motivating uh, this type of trading behavior at all. It clearly has nothing to do with the fundamentals of GameStop itself uh, anymore and much more to do with uh, uh, sort of uh, pop psychology of uh, who, who's going who's gonna to be left holding the bag. Um, the thing that concerns me most at this point is uh, whether some of these investors will actually start to get out today. They'll look at this and say, we won the game if, if that's winning. Uh, unclear you know, where the finish line is uh, in that regard. But uh, as much pain as they may have uh, created for Melvin Capital, for example, um, my, my great anxiety at this point is the, the number of, of retail investors that have been jumping into this uh, in, the, in the, literally in, in the last 24 hours who very well may get hurt uh, far more and lose far more uh, than some of the hedge funds that were involved uh, in this. Uh, let's just show you where we are right now. Joe mentioned at the top of the program, Elon Musk tweeting yesterday, uh, which also uh, powered the stock even higher. I mean, it's, this is just there's nothing normal about what you're seeing when it comes to this stock right now. Uh, stock up 51 percent on Friday, 18 uh, percent on Monday, 92 percent yesterday. As I said, soaring in the pre-market. Uh, let's just give you a little bit of a rundown to explain what's happened. Shares popping early uh, in the session. This was yesterday when Chamath Palihapitiya, also somebody who's taken to Twitter uh, and whatnot, uh, really trying to push up th this stock. And again, it really raises some, some important questions about what these people are doing, why they're doing it. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't like to think of the market as a game, but that's really what uh, this has become, uh, this stock in particular, a game. Uh, he tweeted that he bought February $115 calls on GameStop. The night before, he tweeted, tell me what to buy tomorrow, and if you convince me, I'll throw a few hundred Ks at it to start. Shortly after noon, then you had Cameron Winklevoss tweeting, thinking about going long GameStop. And then uh, after the close, Elon Musk jumping into the action, tweeting Game Stonk, which is a reference to the popular meme and linking to the Wall Street Bets Reddit page that's been hyping all of this throughout, that Musk tweet helping drive this pre-market move uh, right now. Later this hour, we're going to talk to Robert Frank, who's been uh, reporting on the biggest winners and, and really, frankly, we'll see the losers of this GameStop trade. But a lot to be concerned about when you think about what's happening here. Where are the regulators? Um, and is this just the beginning? Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.